uh, neem, right, uh, which is coming from the Indian system of medicine, very powerful antiviral, right, used uh, throughout the millennia to treat ch chicken pox, smallpox, measles, they're all viral, right? Uh, and if you go to the standard typical Indian funeral, you will see that the last thing they put in the coffin is neem and turmeric because they're very powerfully antiviral, not just for that coffin, but also they come back and they spray the house with, uh, with, with uh, neem leaf and uh, turmeric because of the antiviral effect. So these are all available, right? Uh, neem grows uh, in Malaysia. The Malays call it down mambu. Uh, the Indians call it verpile, right? And you can just take the leaf, make a juice and drink it, right? Uh, you, we also have this product in the in the pharmacy. It's a product called Bitrin. Again, it's a very valuable antiseptic, antiviral, right? So there are so many things you can do. I mean, it's good you got the vaccine. It's good you got two doses. But that doesn't mean the virus won't evolve and the virus is evolving. And you cannot stop the virus from evolving, especially when you're vaccinating in a pandemic. But... You can boost your immune system and make sure that no matter what's thrown at it, it comes up standing good. Mm. And that's the key message of today, right? Yeah. I just want to chip in, uh, that, 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 Dr. Rajan. The, if there's a scientific report that says that neem is the closest substitute, closest substitute to the ivermectin yes. in terms yes. of uh, working against the SARS-CoV-2. Yeah. And you know, Dr. Wong, uh, we, we sell a product we sell a product neem in pharmacies. Oh. In the pandemic, early days, we were out of stock. We could not, because one pharmacist read it, spoke about it on some Facebook somewhere, and before long, we were out of stock. But oh. yes, you're right. Uh, the mechanism of the antiviral activity is very, very similar to ivermectin. And it's I think